Coastal erosion is a natural and ongoing process that has been happening at our coasts for thousands of years. As waves collide with cliffs and beaches, it results in the removal of materials like sediment or rocks at the shoreline, leading to the loss of land as the coast moves landward. How quickly the coast erodes or moves back depends on the nature of the coastline, whether it's a cliff coast or a beach coast, and the sort of material the coastline is made up of. Other factors that may influence the speed of erosion include sediment availability, meaning how much sand is available, wave energy, meaning how powerful the waves are, and climatic variability, like El Nino cycles and changing wind and wave directions. Erosional processes can also be impacted by the way we use land and interventions that we place at the coast. So how does beach erosion typically differ to cliff erosion? Beaches are dynamic environments and may undergo short periods of erosion but then recover and build out again. Some beaches are accretionary, meaning they are growing as sediment accumulates. Other areas may continuously erode. Cliffs, on the other hand, continuously erode with no cycle of recovery. While coastal erosion is a natural process, it starts to become a coastal hazard when it impacts things we care about near the coast. Climate change is projected to increase rates of erosion in the future through sea level rise and more frequent and more intense storm events, turning natural processes into hazards at an increasing rate, speeding up the need to adapt our coastal environments and important assets and infrastructure supporting these places that we value. To help us understand projected rates of erosion and how this may be exacerbated by climate change, Auckland Council has developed mapping tools for different timeframes and climate scenarios. Using this information, experts, local iwi and communities are able to proactively plan for coastal hazards and the projected impact of climate change at our coasts. Shoreline adaptation plans and Te Taruke a Tawhiri are just a few tools we can use to plan for and manage impacts of coastal erosion at the coast. Our future depends on choices and actions we take now. To understand more about how we are planning for the future of our coastal areas, visit the Shoreline Adaptation Plans page on Auckland Council's website.